Reddit was created in 2005, and it is a place where users can post entertaining links, stories, or pictures that can be upvoted or downvoted. Sometimes these posts can be downright shocking. These are 10 of the darkest posts on Reddit. Number 10. The original poster's friend moved into a previous drug house. They found a locked safe and wasn't able to open it. Reddit kept pressuring him to open it and he tried to deliver, but he couldn't. Then some stuff happened and he had to give up. He did not go into detail why he stopped trying to open it, but the house was ran by a violent gang known in the area. Reddit didn't want him to quit. People wouldn't leave him alone about the safe. Even when he tried to post something else entirely, something about his grandmother dying, all anybody wanted to know about was the safe. Eventually, the original poster left Reddit. Nobody has seen him in almost four years. Fast forward several months later, the safe is discovered by someone new who has no idea what it is and what is inside. He was able to open it and it is simply empty. Number 9. The user, Mommy's Little Girl, posted about how she was breastfed until age 15. She later posted on Ask Me Anything, where she answered questions from Redditors. As people asked questions, she revealed more about her mother wasn't actually breastfeeding, but it was more of a comfort to her. She admitted to liking incest, and had an obsession with breasts stemming from being breastfed. It is still quite disturbing to think that this could have actually happened. Number 8. A user by the name of Pickled Potatoes went around to different posts and posted disturbing tales that started out okay and quickly developed into disgusting tales. Here is a sample post. When I was a kid, I had a bad skin condition that caused chunks of dead skin to fall off constantly. We were poor and couldn't see a doctor about it, so my mom would just help me pick up the skin and rub lotion on my back. My mom was an alcoholic, and my dad was a real dick. He slept around and did lots of drugs. He slipped acid into my mom's drinks at dinner when she wasn't looking. We'd watch her trip. It was pretty screwed up, but growing up, I thought this was all normal. I had a dog that we kept outside in a large lot with a doghouse. She was really my only friend, as I wasn't allowed to go to the other kid's house, and I definitely wouldn't bring anyone over to my house. She and I ran around the backyard for hours every day after I got home from school. When I was about 13, my dad committed suicide and hung himself out in the front yard. Some drug dealer was coming for money, and he couldn't pay. My mom came home early from work found him and went inside and blew her brains out with the 357 she kept at the side table. So I come home from school to find both my parents dead. My first thought is, well, I gotta feed the dog. See, I've never fed or cleaned up after the dog. My dad always did all that. I just made sure she got exercise. I go into the utility building out back and I open the large garage bin that had all of our dog's food in it. And what do I see? All my old collected skin. They fed my dog my skin. So I took my shirt off, went into the dog pen, and let the dog just eat the skin right off my body. Number 7. One mystery on Reddit involves a Redditor by the name of Religion of Peace. Allegedly, he died at 79 and was a trained military killer. Upon research of his website, Redditors found coded messages relating to hiring people to assassinate others. While this totally could be a hoax, it's incredibly well played one. The website, which is a porn website, seems to be a front to something more, and upon researching the Reddit user, they found ties to the subreddit jailbait and several other disturbing facts. Lake City may refer to the government and quiet pills as bullets. This could be a hoax going back to 2001 or so. Number 6. The subreddit jailbait has been removed, but the thought is still horrifying and shows that the internet is not a kind place. Jailbait, as its name suggests, was a subreddit dedicated to pedophiles. 
What was posted on this subreddit was disturbing. Some users posted pictures of young girls and boys while others commented on it. While Jailbit has been removed, some small subreddits have surfaced to serve the same purpose. It is sick enough to think of a place existing for pedophiles to speak up on the deep web. But on the normal internet, it reminds us all that there are sick people out there. Number 5. Reddit user named Defects posted that if he would get X number of upvotes, that he would not kill himself. His dad later came by and confirmed that he did kill himself, after Reddit hit the required amount. He originally asked for a reason not to commit suicide on Reddit, and people told him to do it. His mom came home and discovered the body. Number 4. A woman posted on the subreddit Relationships about her husband who was taking pictures of all of their stuff in their home. She explains that she put it back but has no idea what to do and asked what people thought. People tried to explain it as maybe it was possibly her husband was taking them in case of a divorce so that things could be itemized better. They also theorized he was cross-dressing and the pictures were there to make sure he was putting back things correctly. Others theorized he was taking pictures to make sure she wasn't cheating or lying to him. Either way, the find was completely disturbing. The most disturbing part is the user who asked it never responded again or posted another post. Number 3. A Reddit user posted a disturbing tale about how her boyfriend had cheated on her with his mother. That itself was disturbing, but when Redditors told her to break up the relationship, things turned ugly. The girl did, and when the boyfriend begged for her to take him back, she said no and stood her ground. He texted her that he was going to kill himself. Not thinking it was much of a threat, she ignored it. But indeed, he did kill himself in their old bedroom. A tragic turn of events, now the woman can't trust her mother and her ex-boyfriend is long gone. It makes us all consider that our own troubles may not be as bad as some people's. It can always be worse. Number 2. User Spontaneous H has a long history on Reddit and takes the crown for one of the most disturbing and real Reddit posts. He started with the post about trying heroin and how he wasn't going to try it again. Slowly as you read more of his posts and down the comments, he continues to speak about the high and his fall as he tumbles into addiction to heroin. Two weeks later, he posted an update saying, Wednesday night update, I'm still withdrawing, throwing up and sweating out gallons of sweat. I really want to use and relapse right now. I know I shouldn't. These urges are so strong and overpowering. Please help me if you can before I get the chance to. The good news is, after some time he did go to rehab and have recovered, but it does show a shining example that drugs are not something that can be played around with. Number 1. Carl H was a Redditor who posted YouTube videos and helped others with programming. He operated a YouTube channel called Computer Science for Everyone and was very well known on Reddit. His arrest shocked users on the site where Carl H. had a reputation as a thoughtful and considerate teacher. The goal here for this MVC framework... <laughs> he seemed like a normal guy until one day he was arrested in Alabama. Carl Harold and another man, Charles Donovan, kept Carl's nine-year-old son captive for months while they tortured him. This was possibly the most disturbing Redditor. You may know someone who seems innocent, even helpful, but they may have the darkest secrets possible. Thank you all for watching my channel and giving me feedback. We have really grown since my first video. As most of you know, YouTube has blocked most ads on my channel, claiming it is not advertiser friendly, and it is shocking content. I put a huge amount of time into each video and would really like to go full time creating content for you all. For this reason, I have set up a Patreon account. For as little as $1, you can support this channel. Thank you all for watching.